Hey, what, what is it that you're, that you're cooking for your, for your friends at this time of night? <sighs> Who I've not seen before. And, and why are you not cooking this time? Without all that grease, how will you sleep? Also, What on earth is that you're watching on the television? Mother? What world are these seemingly false cultural artifacts from? The unknown food? A TV show which bears no resemblance to any kind of sensical equation? The people with the moustaches and the handkerchiefs and, and the strange smelling vermiform fry food they're eating this time of year. Anyway, what, they might they might keep the taxi driver waiting. I said worriedly. Don't worry about that, dear. Father said shortly and smilingly. There's a half. More of a half smile. No. She goes tired from fleeting between all the rooms of the various guests. Still didn't know where we where we were all going. At almost 1 a.m. All my grandma and grandpa were here at this hour. Anyway, numbers are beginning to dissipate now. As I stare with glazed eyes at the glass of the front door. I wonder how and when. I began standing here so rigidly. Why aren't I able to move from this spot? Or leave this house? Almost everyone has left now. I have no idea how they managed to leave the house. <laughs> With me standing here by the door. I didn't see anyone leave. I didn't see or hear a taxi. That smell of the food, it, it, it's gone too. 
So are the sounds of everyone. Everyone but mother. Mother? Great sense of desperation waving my voice. Mother? Can I leave now? Where is everyone else? How can people just disappear? Go on, you're ready now, Mother said with her ever calming voice. I can't answer these questions, but be willing to explain everything on the outside. She said. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna use the toilet first. I think I should probably just, just go in. Just go. Who said that? I wondered. Since when did it get did it get so dark so quickly? It must barely be even yet. How much time has passed? 